All right, but this se segment is, we're going to concentrate on a couple of tools, and, uh, but I just want to kind of get some the same wavelength as we get rolling here. The uh, U.S. Department of Labor back in 2004 identified three hot fields for the 21st century. And those were geotechnologies, which we'll be immersed in today and tomorrow, biotechnologies, and nanotechnologies. So in terms of career pathways for students, wonderful career pathways in all three of these fields according to the U.S. Department of Labor. And we are very firmly going to be anchored in the geotechnologies. What are the geotechnologies? Well, they really uh, include these three main components, if you will. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. GPS, Global Positioning Systems. And Remote Sensing, looking at the Earth using a variety of different bands in the electromagnetic spectrum so that we can sense things like where are pine beetles infecting forests? Where are, um, where are there gravity anomalies so there's possible uh, oil deposits underneath the surface? That's that type of stuff. With remote sensing, satellite image analysis. We're going to touch on this a bit. We're going to do some GPS when you uh, go out with the Palmers tomorrow outside and collect some data and bring it into your GIS. But all three of these are spatial technologies or geospatial technologies because they're all firmly anchored in where, right? They all have a spatial location. So up here in the search box, go ahead and put USA Demographics for Schools. USA Demographics for Schools. All right. USA Demographics for Schools. If you type that whole thing, you should get one one hit there, right? You should get one result. And underneath that thumbnail, there are some choices there. And I'm going to select that very first one, Open in ArcGIS.com Viewer. What is Open in ArcGIS.com Viewer? As you're getting into that, this is a good indication of a progression of more and more powerful tools that we'll talk about later on. This very first one that we're going to look at is just opening up in the JavaScript web browser window. So that's why I'm going to select this first one. Open in RGIS.com viewer. Cool? And as the name implies, we'll be able to look at some demographic information. And this particular lesson is all about analyzing the median age of the population. Okay? So, I see this map. First of all, Arizona uh, is not due north of uh, Hawaii and Alaska, as is commonly believed by some students, because <laughs> right because they're you know the paper maps have to squeeze it in, uh, the, the, like in Sonora. Um, but uh, okay, well you know it'd be really nice to have a map legend, wouldn't it? So if you pan the mouse over some of those tools on the left, you'll find that one that looks like a, a you know a bunch of bullet points, and that is the third one from the left, and it's the map legend. Okay, so I, I can see right now I'm looking at population density. 